That was weird. Hello, I'm here to talk this week about my thoughts on adaptations, specifically book to movie adaptations. I know there are probably lots of videos about this topic out there already, but the reason I wanted to make this is because recently there's been lots of kind of stuff going around about the Shadowhunters TV show, which is coming in January and I'm so excited for. But they released a teaser trailer and I saw that a lot of people were saying that the effects were dodgy and the acting wasn't good. But I think you have to remember that whatever they show you will probably be from the pilot and pilots of TV shows are rarely good and then get better as they go on because the writers get more used to the characters, the actors get more used to playing those characters and things should start to get better and if the TV show is doing well they'll probably get more funding leading to better costumes, better effects, whatever. And I think that shows if you go back to any TV show, even like Friends, one of my favourite TV shows, one of the most iconic TV shows, the pilot is kinda crap. <laughs> but you start to love it once you get the characters' personalities, you get to know them better and time goes on. So I think it's very early to judge just based on what they've shown you from the pilot. I think we definitely have to wait and see what's happening. And that led me to thinking about kind of movie adaptations, for example like The Mortal Instruments or Percy Jackson, because I know a lot of fans of the books really don't like those movies. but from someone, I mean I quite like both of those films and I'll tell you why. I saw Percy Jackson before I read the book so I had more of an objective viewpoint and I actually quite like those films. Like they're well made, they're well acted, I didn't really see a problem with them and then obviously I read the books and I realised all of the missed opportunities there but it was still quite a good film in its own right and I think people forget that when you're a fan of the book. And as a fan of the book or series or whatever it is, it's really easy to say, well I want every detail, I, I wouldn't mind if it was four hours long and you know, really really accurate, that's all I want. But that's just not feasible and you know, people, when people complain about their favourite parts not being in the TV show or in the movie. That is so <laughs> difficult, like, to have everyone's favourite parts, obviously people have different favourite bits, different bits that they remember from the series and obviously not everyone is going to have the same bits and as a writer or director who's creating that they can't possibly include everything. Like with books you get narrative voice, you get someone, a voice that's telling you the story but in film or TV you cannot have, well some people have, but you can't have a constant narration, that just won't work. Why is it a TV show that you're constantly having it narrated to you? They have to show you what's going on rather than t like telling you as a book would do. So it's a completely different medium, so then you have to expect that there will be differences between the book and the movie slash TV show. And personally, I mean, I used to, I like, I very much understand when people get, you know, panicked when it suddenly is announced that there's going to be a movie or a TV show of your favourite book. But now I'm quite excited for it. Like, I was originally so upset when I heard about Looking for Alaska being made into a movie because I thought that's one of my favourite books, they're going to ruin it if they don't have this and this and this and this. What if they read this wrong? What if they don't spend enough time on this? But then I realised, like, whatever that movie is, if it's shit, if it's really good, that will not kind of colour my view of the book. I mean, I like the book so much that whatever the movie is, it can exist separately from the book. If the movie is crap, if the movie is good, I can still go back to the book, which will be the same, and I can still have that and rely on that, and that will not alter my view of it in my head. Um, and I actually think it can be quite exciting to see what a director or a writer has picked up from the same thing that you did because maybe they've noticed something like a small afterthought or a small detail that maybe you didn't notice and they start to expand on that in their adaptation and then you maybe think about the characters differently or you think about the story differently and I think that's quite good. I think that's really cool to have different ideas and let people have discussions. That's kind of what I joined booktube for. I wanted to meet people that had read the same things that I had but maybe had different thoughts about it. I think that's exactly what adaptations and movies are. There's someone else with different thoughts of that thing and they want to share it with you and I think that's really cool. So it's my philosophy now that no matter what the book is or series, that if there's going to be an adaptation of it, I will be positive. No matter like what like who they cast or what changes they make until I have actually seen it and can judge it in its own right I will not slam it or I will not be disappointed and I urge everyone to do the same because you'll be much happier as a fan being supportive and happy because negativity breeds negativity if you're negative about it then that's just gonna result in more negativity so 
try and be positive and you know what it's probably going to be good not gonna lie it probably will be good like you can find at least one thing that you like about it and if not just leave it go back to the book it'll still be there in the same way in the same form and you can carry on enjoying it regardless of the movie or the tv show based on it Thank you so much for watching this video and leave your thoughts in the comments below because like I said this is a discussion and everyone obviously has different opinions so let me know, I'll be very interested to see and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!